Hi guys, my name is Dania and today I'm going to talk about heat transfer fluids and show you an example of analysis and comparison of different heat transfer fluids for a 1 electric megawatt parabolic trough collector. So, concentrated solar thermal energy is considered one of the key technologies on the route to finding renewable and clean energy sources. This way of generating energy can be applied in homes and small installations, but also in large solar thermal power plants. But what are heat transfer fluids? A liquid or gas that transfers heat from one component to another is called heat transfer fluid. These fluids are used in processes where cooling or heating is required to obtain and maintain a particular temperature. The attributes that are desirable in heat transfer fluid are low viscosity when temperature is low, high thermal conductivity and specific heat, environment friendliness, low or not toxicity, high flight point and economical in other words, an appropriate heat transfer fluid should have a low melting point, high boiling point, and thermal stability, low vapor pressure at high temperatures, low corrosion with metal alloys used in storage tanks, low viscosity, high thermal conductivity, and high heat capacity for energy storage. And why the different types of heat transfer fluids? Well, generally the heat transfer fluids are classified into three categories. These include low temperature fluids, medium temperature fluids, and high temperature fluids. And here are some examples of them. Now that we know what heat transfer fluids are, we can start talking about the analysis and comparison that we made of different heat transfer fluids. It's about a numerical simulation of a 1 megawatt parabolic truck solar collector using six various heat transfer fluids under the weather condition of Morocco. The heat transfer fluid is considered one of the most important components in concentrated solar power systems. Side the show of the most adequate heat transfer fluid determinates in the one had the maximum allow with temperature. The show of technology to be used and the received materials. In fact, there are different types of heat transfer fluids. By now, we will only talk about six of them. One, solar cell. Based on potassium and sodium nitrates, their output temperature can reach 600 degrees Celsius. They offer a good exchange coefficient and have a high density. Solar cell is relatively cheap in comparison with other types of high transfer fluids, such as thermal oils. However, the use of this oil has disadvantages such as the high merit point. 2. Heated salt. It has similar properties to solar salt, but it has low merit point. The main advantage is to be able to operate at atmospheric pressure for temperature between 115 and 515 degrees Celsius. 3. Water and steam. Considered as one of the best transfer fluids, it offers an excellent exchange coefficient and has a high thermal capacity. Besides, it can be used directly as a working fluid in a rocking cycle. However, it used involves working at very high pressures in the receipt because of the high temperature reach. 4. Terminal BP1. Combine exceptional thermal stability and low viscosity for efficient design to meet the vapor system requirements for 257 to 4 degrees Celsius or rigid phase system for 12 at 400 degrees Celsius. 5. Certain 800. It is a clear yellow silicon polymer, offers an excellent stability, in particular, it has little tendency to flow at high temperatures and under the condition of use. The fluid is essentially odorless and is low acute oral toxicity. 6. Dr. A. is a joystick mixture of biphenyl and diphenyl oxide, may be used in system employing either liquid phase. 
In order to determine the most durable heat transfer fluid to be used in a small parabolic trip plant with a capacity of 1 megawatt, several simulation rooms have been performed using Renius Sowers. Renius is a simulation for the calculation and analysis of renewable power projects to us solar thermal power through power plants, solar thermal power towers, photovoltaic systems, among others. The following table shows the operating temperature range of various heat transfer fluids. In this study, a 1 megawatt plant based on parabolic truck technology has been built by assembly 6 every truck collector with two receipts. The technical data of the field are summed in table 2. During the simulation, all the parameters and inputs were fixed except of the working flows in order to find out the most sustainable one to be used for a small scale parabolic truck plant, as we well as monitoring the performance of those systems. And then, for a first look on figures 1 and 2, we can see that the thermal and the electric production of the simulator plant can be considered as high for all the working fluids especially during the period from April to October. The maximum values were observed during June, where the thermal and the electric outputs vary between 500-650 thermal megawatts and 150-200 electric megawatts respectively. In Figure 3, a 1 megawatt solar plant with BP-1 as working fluid is the most efficient one especially during winter where the difference between it and the salts can reach 90%. So we can clearly see that the BP-1 is the most suitable working fluid for a small scale concentrated solar power system, while the salts are done in prepared ones with a less thermal and electric production. And that's it. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions, you can check the following links.